going, everyone? Welcome back to another Shaving with Surge. And today, I got a, I got a Canadian shave going for you guys. I got just a bunch of Canadian products. I got Jack. Jack from First Canadian Shave. I got Quo Vadis playing, which is one of my favorite Canadian bands. <laughs> I got Jack the Matching After Splash. I got Bullseye Brushworks. And this is my hybrid knot handle from them. 26 millimeter Jealousy Tip Knot. Look at it again. It's a beautiful, beautiful handle. And for the razor, I got that Ale Custom Commissory made by um, Alejandro over at Ale Razor Works. I did post a unboxing video of it. And uh, let me show off the razor again for those who may not have seen it. There's the logo, full scales, scale work. It's uh, 10 8 French point, half hollow. This will be my first use with the commissory, so let's see how that goes. Move this out the way. All right, let's get right into the shave. Wet the face a little bit. Let's go into um, the soap. All right, so the site says, it's a wonderful fall scent with notes of pumpkin, spice, bourbon, scotch, sandalwood, and oak moss. All right, and um, I'm gonna tell you what I smell. I just smell deliciousness. This smells, I smell pumpkin, just like a warm, fresh out the oven baked pumpkin pie. And like, to me, I get like caramel from it. Pumpkin caramel, just sweet. A little bit of that bourbon. It smells amazing. I love this scent. I'm not disappointed whatsoever from this. Scent strength is, um, I give this like a seven and a half, seven and a half out of 10. So it's, you know, it's a medium strong scent. Oh, like I said, it just smells so good. You know, I'm really glad I picked this one up because if this, if I only got one soap and that was the atomic pumpkin going for that pumpkin scent, I would have been really disappointed. This one, I am very happy with for the pumpkin scent. All right, let's get into the shave. Load up the brush. I'm loading right now. Today is Monday. Hope you guys are all having a great beginning of the week. Wet these tips a little bit. There we go. And I am, should be good. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean off the tub. And I am a fan of First Canadian Shave products. They are super slick. They are up there in my top three favorite soaps to use. Soap bases. Oh, I, now, I'm definitely getting the booze in it now. The pumpkin and the booze. I believe it's bourbon and scotch. Yeah, that's nice. Let me load, load this up a little bit more. Yeah, as I lather it up, I'm starting to get the, the booze in it more than just that sweet, uh, at first it's like a gourmand set. Gourmand, gourmand, I don't know. Fancy, too, too much of a fancy word for me. But it's not like food, it's not like a delicious pumpkin pie with I got hints of caramel in it. Now, uh, lathering up, I do get the booze as a back note into it, which is really nice. All right, let me uh, add some water to this.
and add some more water to this. Oh yeah. Coming along nicely. I know it's a no shave November, but I'm not participating in it, obviously. So, uh, I, I just love shaving too much for this now. I don't think I can go a whole month without it. I don't want to. <laughs> I have too many soaps that I still got to try out. Yeah. Not going to happen. All right, and let me just paint a little bit more water into this. This knot is so soft. Really like it. I like soft knots if you don't already know. Soft badger knots. All right, it's good enough for me now. All right, let's get into this comma story shave. Gotta make sure my hands are really good for this one now. Yeah, wipe this off. And here we go, the maiden voyage of the blade. <laughs> Slick. So getting used to holding this is it's a little different as with a straight you know i'm used to uh having that larger scale to hold on a little bit more grip so there's a learning curve to this obviously So far shading beautifully. Such a large blade. Uh, someone said it was like a guillotine. Exactly, that's what it's like. And let me wipe this off. Let me go switch to the hand. Cutting beautifully, as you can see. And you know what? All right, that's good enough for the first pass. Let me uh, wet the face again. So yeah, it's, you know, it's just a little bit different, a little bit getting used to uh, the scales, 
just, you know, even my thinnest scales is more of a wider um, area to grip on. So it's just a little different. That's pure metal. So, you know, your hands need to be dry because any soap left on it, that's going to be slippery. So it's just getting used to it. You know? it's, a, it's uh, just in the grips a little different in the straight, but so far so good. You know, it's commissory shape number one. All right. Pass number two. Let's do it. And it's shading beautifully. I'm enjoying this. You know, I found out about AO Razor Works from watching Lyle from uh, the Sash Shavers channel and Justin, the Red Island Shaver, both uh, both Canadians as well, I believe. And you know, I, they were big fans. Or I seen their blades of um, their AO blades and thought they were beautiful works of art. So. You know, uh, check out Ale Razors on Instagram. And that's how I found out about them. And finally pulled the trigger on one. I'm very happy, pulled the trigger on a Commissori, you know. It was a great price for a custom razor. Turnaround time was super quick. I got my razor. I was getting updated pictures. Um, here's one. First one of the forge process. And then, you know, on the process, more pictures. He sent me here a picture of him doing the file work. And he sent me pictures of a final razor of when it was completed. And he posted uh, a final shave with the razor, you know? And turnaround time was super quick, super quick. I mean, like, from start to finish, Razor was done in about a week. And took about a week to get shipped from Canada down here. I'm in Southern California, Orange County, and about another week. So two weeks total. And I had my custom handmade commissory from scratch and in my shaved in in two weeks. Now that is quick turnaround time. All right, and final pass. There we go.
that blade. All right, let me uh, rinse off and uh, check my normal touch-up areas. Trim this way. Okay, just a little bit more there is isn't normal and that's because first time using That's good. Let me uh, rinse off again. There we go. It's time for the splatter. Shake it up. One bad thing that uh, happens and I don't hold it against uh, first cutting shave. You can't tell now because uh, I shake it and there's bubbles, but 50% of the time when I get my packages, the aftershave is leaked. And he does, you know, Randy tapes it up. They come taped up. It's just, it's a far travel. It's, um, you know, maybe temperature altitude changes. But that's the bummer, but you know, I'm not gonna hold it against him. He does everything in his effort to to prevent that. They have the the seal on it, and he also wraps it in tape, and then he has it in a in a Ziploc bag as well. But so, like I said, half about 50 percent of the time. It happened to this one. It happened to Kink, um, Mojito Chill. It didn't, and motherfucker, it didn't. So yeah, 50 percent of the time. Okay, aftershave. Yeah, a little bit more. I get, I get pumpkin, and I get the booze. I get the booze. 
whether it's the bourbon or the scotch. Maybe I guess the sweetness would come from the bourbon a little bit. But in the back, I do see, oh, that scotch, that scent that reminds me of scotch. It is nice. This is a great manly pumpkin spice scent. <laughs> yeah, this is good. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely glad I picked this up. I'm very happy with the scent and the performance. The razor, a beautiful beast. That uh, first use was a success. It's a little learning curve to it, a little different. Some areas holding it, you know, and it being all blade, it's something all metal, handle, blade. It's uh, no scales, it's a little different. And it's a huge blade. It's a huge blade. I like it, I enjoyed it. This was a great shave. Thank you guys for joining me. You guys have another, uh, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.